Since I also use a Mac and on the setup of the local system, I just wanted to show you because doing this today on a Mac that I have never used Git on, I thought I'm going to try this command uh, because if you look at the installation of Git, like if you just search Git install Mac, and I should just say without the terminal, just in general, right, uh, you get some interesting like install brew homebrew i'm not a fan of homebrew i generally like my os is to be as least complicated as possible so i don't like homebrew if you're you're welcome to try that on your own as well uh, it does talk about that git comes with uh, xcode so here's how I did it this time. So it was even a little different than the instructions I had provided, but I just wanted to show you. So on my Mac, I'm just going to minimize this to show you. Right. So um, I do have VS Code installed. Um, supposedly it comes with a kind of a mini version of Git, but that's not really, you want the full version. So I opened up the terminal. Uh, let me just do a new, a uh, new basic just because I have something else running, but if I open up, right, if I open this up, and if I just do the following, because this git dash dash version, if I do just that, and I'll make this just a little bigger so you can see it, by just doing that, the operating system, now the question is what operating system and I'm, am I running? Uh, I'm actually running the latest uh, as of this point, right? So if you get uh, Sonoma, that's what I was looking for. So I'm running Sonoma, uh, the latest version, 14.5. Um, but I think this works for any Mac in general, but you know, your you know, say mileage may vary, but just if you've never done, by the way, I should show you this. If you've never done the terminal, now I have it loaded on my dock. You can always go to search and do terminal and it will just open a new session now it's opening on another screen but it is doing that but once you're here it doesn't matter where uh, your current directory is uh, and even if you don't know what that is just where it's currently located as far as a folder structure you just do git space dash dash version and now of course it's going to have to make me a liar Oh, it didn't. Actually, it's kind of interesting. It took me a minute to see it because in the command line, because this is what I was seeing before, in the command line I was getting this message, no developer tools were found. And then it says requesting install. And I was reading it going, okay, where is it at? And what I had to do was minimize my terminal because in the background an install popped up and it says git requires git command requires the command line developer tools would you like to install them so I'll just go ahead and hit install and read every be every little bit of that hit agree and then wait for it to install and of course this process will depend on <laughs> well 21 hours is a long time okay now it's coming down was that 21 seconds or now it's 30 seconds I was gonna say my internet's pretty fast so that should be a pretty quick process I just wanted to show you this install um, because once you have this running um, I might pause in a minute here if we don't uh, get this and come back and show you what it looks like when it's done but just to show you, and I would just do that command again. Now, in this case, I would definitely close the terminal uh, just because there may be some things that the system wants to set up uh, to have that happen. But, and just to say this, once you have the Git installed and the VS Code and the cloning and all that work as I've shown uh, on the videos. And I believe the videos were done on a Windows operating system. The difference on the Windows is that you see something called PowerShell, uh, but just FYI. So I think I'll pause and let this finish up. Okay, so I'm gonna come back because it looks like it is almost done and it did take a moment. Uh, I remember this when I did it um, with a new Mac I had about a year or two ago as well that it does take a moment for it to finish the install so now boom and it's done okay so you don't really get anything else to do so what i would do just by nature of how i operate and how general you want to is i would go ahead and close that terminal window and i'd go over 
terminal and you go new and then you know I could use any of these but I just like the basic one for this demo and then bring it back and now get dash dash version should give me which is great okay so that I think is probably my suggestion um, for how you want to install uh, git uh, from a Mac perspective uh, like I said you can also follow the instruction that you uh, that is provided by uh, SCM uh, which you know you're welcome to do that as well I just tell you how I approached it I hope this was helpful